Yo, hey yo, never get caught holding the grams. Never take a bitch word over your mans. Stay close to him. Never let him know where you live. Never let him get familiar with your dough or your kids. Put the toast to him. Always stay quiet and humble. Don't be scared to take it to the knife or the gun in the rumble. I can show you how to get your neck broke. Stretch coke in the middle of the ocean on a mean duplex boat. Look here, there is no competitor. Z9 with the spaceship doors that open up regular. Get it on with the hard plastic. My 16s have niggas feeling like they tripping off acid. Then ain't no nigga gonna tell me I can't go get money over there. I don't, I don't care. Shout to Surreal Mookie, yo, no doubt. So, what's good, y'all? Surreal keeping it real, giving us hip hop and battle rap media. If y'all can hit that notification and bell, um, and subscribe. Let's get to it. Everybody's in an uproar right now on YouTube, speaking on P Diddy. I get it. I get it. Who's next? Jay Z. I don't see Jay Z posting. I'm pretty sure he's not happy that one of his associate best friends is in media right now and not on a good not on a good foot and not in a good light. So where was all this energy? Where was all this news coverage when Jaguar would write was sitting here breaking this all down? Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book. Before she died, and Albie Shore was working on the documentary of his life. With the Albie Shore, how um, P. Diddy allegedly did. Now, everything I'm saying here is going to be alleged, okay? Where was all this energy when she was saying how P. Diddy allegedly uh, was in the studio and had Albie Shore on his knees breaking his throat? Where's that at? Where's the energy? Nowhere, right? But it makes sense now because more than 10 people are speaking about it. So now, it's all good. These guys, once you hit the million dollar club, <laughs> it's a wrap. You don't keep that money unless you follow certain guidelines. If they want you to do certain things, you have to obey. If not, they'll freeze your account. Look at Wendy Williams. Prime example, in the game for a long time. She goes and tries to get her funds, they freeze it. You know why? Because the ones that's running this world, the Elites, right? They call the shots. These are the same people that the president, the, the lawyers, judges, all of them, they have to answer to. Because they're the ones that created the system. So, let's speak on P. Diddy. He got the feds now. Two of his houses, they're checking on his private plane. They caught one of his people's, arrested them. Um, they don't do this unless they have something on you. It all started with Cassie uh, saying that she was abused and <laughs> treated like an animal when she was with P. Diddy. Now... I could say maybe Jennifer Lopez probably liked it. This Jennifer Lopez character jumps to every man that got money. If y'all don't see that, y'all crazy. She's down for all that. Miss Miami. I'm pretty sure they sat her down. I'm sure they sat her down and see what the hell she got. What information. And now they're not playing games. But I just had that, like, when Jaguar Wright was speaking on this, she broke a lot of stuff down. And nobody really covered it until now. Um, let's talk about Kim Porter. How she had a book. And now there's no book. Even her best friend feels like P. Diddy has something to do with it. And mind you, she is very connected. She's the face of Fat Palm. Or Baby Fat, should I say. And nothing. 
Nobody wants to believe her. Everybody looks crazy or nobody wants to believe somebody because they just apparently come out with it. They even changed the word conspiracy. 50% true, 50% lie. They changed that out of nowhere in the dictionary. But a lot of people that speak on these pe- on these people and these certain uh, situations, it's funny how not just one actor is sitting there saying they got touched or molested or, or had to deal with the devil, right? Why is that? Because it's true. When more than one person speaks on it, then you got to know it's true. Your favorites of favorites, believe me, are probably the most evilest evil. No doubt about it. You got to understand, like, when you hear certain artists saying they got to walk through this door, but I'm not choosing that door, or I'm not going to that party, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, associate myself with these people, it's for a reason. This is why you got the one-hit wonders that's out of, out of nowhere disappear, because they didn't... They didn't want that that the other deal. Be good with it. You know what I'm saying? That's part of life. Like, not everybody can be rich, and they designed that too. That's why they only have a certain amount of money, and it's called cap- capitalism, where it has to circulate around the world. And if you guys holding money in your house and stuff, they can pretty much get you, because that money needs to continue circulating. It's a circle of life, but. Let's talk about P. Diddy. Do I feel like he did it? I mean, I feel like he did it, of course. Why not? The feds are in his door, why not? They don't do that unless they have hard evidence. Are certain people talking? Absolutely. Do I feel like his partner in crime, Jay-Z, is involved? Maybe. It's funny how Jay-Z canceled his brunch this year. Every year though, it's all good, right? They're partying, everybody looks happy and smiling. But he never told you why they canceled it this year. That's because his little partner, P. Diddy, is going through hell. And he knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. Do you know P. Diddy actually helps him fund this brunch? You also know that P. Diddy actually helped Jay-Z learn how to, how can I say, get certain sponsors and do certain deals with liquor and stuff like that. And got him through them. You know what I'm saying? Through the doors. Yeah. Yeah. Down to the 4040 Club and all that stuff. P. Diddy showed him a lot. A lot. Do I feel like Jay-Z is a pillow biter? Nah. I don't think he is. But do I feel like he had to do certain things that he didn't want to? Absolutely. There's rumors out there with his co- nephew. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Birthday. Buys him a car. He, you know, he, he's gone. He's dead. What happens to the car now? <laughs> What happens to the car? Does it go back to Jay-Z? What? Does it go to a family member? All I know is he's gone. But I'm just going to say it led to that. But it was a rumor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jennifer Hudson, same thing with her and her family. And, and Kanye West basically admitting <laughs> that he did something to his mom. Y'all think this is jokes? This is the real deal. Y'all dealing with evil People that's willing to do anything for money. Do you understand that um, Jay-Z and all of them, I forgot who it was. They said when they go into a, a, a concert, right, they feel like they're gods. If y'all, can, y'all go ahead and research the uh, seven African power. Uh, y- y- go ahead. The Bible, um, Quran. The list goes on. It's all based on spiritual um, <laughs> journey that you you have to go through or, or research on your own. Now, they feel like conjuring, you know, back in the days, well, before we were on there, the Indians would pray to statues and do certain things, and that's considered evil, you know, uh, candles and all that. Is it evil? Because I know the ones, the celebrities and all that right now, praying and, and, and Osiris and Isis and all that um that's praying to certain goddesses or gods you know what I'm saying and they feel like they're God in a man's form you know what I'm saying so it's something deep but when they're on stage performing 
they're kind of conjuring all types of evil spirits, good, whatever, bad, and it's, it, 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 man, it's no joke, it's no joke, and to me personally, um, there's nothing good about these celebrities, nothing, I mean, they would snap your neck and without even thinking twice for that, to keep that stat that they're at, um, do I feel like P. Diddy did this? Mm, I feel like he did. He, you know, it got to his head to where he thought he was untouchable. Just like Jay-Z. Once you get to that level and they feel like they don't need you no more, they're going to get you. Believe me. Wendy Williams, all of them went through that, man. Can't touch your funds. None of that stuff. They'll freeze it. Because they run and own all the banks. So you have to move accordingly to what they say. You get what I'm saying? Now, like I was saying before, Kim Porter had a book, and this was going to expose everything. Whatever she wrote in that book, we would never know now. But Kim Mora, uh, Baby Fat, you know what I'm saying? The face of Baby Fat girl, you know what I'm saying? She um was always saying that she feels like Kim got murdered. Why would I guess? Because back in 2004, Sean Diddy Combs allegedly threatened to hit Kamora Lee Simmons. But where's the energy for that? Nobody's speaking on that. Jaguar, yeah, there's certain things that she said that was mind-blowing. But there's a lot of things that she's speaking on that's coming to light now. Damn, ask yourself, why are these women, young women, um, not supportive or not really trying to hear that? Or what have they gone through? What have they seen that they, you know... That has turned them off or that has put uh, exactly. a bad taste in their mouth. You know, we've seen art lately. Now, y'all better jump on whatever she got going on. She broke down a lot of stuff. And yes, a lot of it could be clickbait, some of it. But is it true? Well, right now, some of the things that she was saying is coming out to be true. Now, Usher and... Um, there's so many people, Usher, um, Justin Timberlake, all these people that was under, you know, P. Diddy or Gotti. They're starting to speak out now or, you know what I'm saying, feel some type of way. You got um, Jennifer Lopez that I think she says something about she probably was a beard <laughs> for P. Diddy and he was probably using her for traffic. Who knows though? Because she jumped from men to men, so I don't, I don't believe nothing she says. Straight up, like, anytime a person has money, Jennifer Lopez might be in your face just because of the money and what she can get. She's that type of female. Um, but this is crazy, man. Private Jet, he he's sitting there, and they did that. They did it so well to where when he like dipped off or not around. They, they, they definitely raided the houses And it's just like wow You don't do that unless Unless you got some hard evidence You know what I'm saying To where you do that And in LA it's hard to get A warrant to do something like that Especially with these people having money And top notch lawyers It's tough to do that but they got it Because they got some hard evidence Does this hurt P. Diddy's brand, absolutely. Would it ever be the same? No. Look at Black Rob. Look at Mace. Look at, um, you know, Biggie. All these people, um, what's his name? Uh, Craig Mack. All these people with royalties. Why is it that P. Diddy's the only one with that type of house? You get what I'm saying? The rest of them, yo, Talking about they don't have all their royalties or they don't have no masses or nothing. Like, yo, what's going on here? Black, Black Rob passing away. You know what I'm saying? He should have money to take care of himself the whole time. The whole time he didn't. Yo, his funeral. Uh, I've seen a certain amount of people there, but honestly, this is Black Rob. Why are you getting, I don't know, man. The, 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 the casket, everything, the, the whole setup. God forbid anything happened to P. Diddy. He probably gonna be buried in a gold casket. Dip gold. I feel like P. Diddy robbed a lot of people. To get to the top. Then he rose with Clyde Davis that recently just came out. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? P. Diddy should just come out and stop playing around. Period. 
but it's all about the image. He lost his contracts with uh, the the uh, the freaking Ciroc and all of them. So what now? He took him to court, and I think that's why they got mad and did what they did and set it up because they have money, and we're not talking about one person like PD. It's him, but then you're dealing with a company. A company. If there's a thousand people, you don't know who they know. You know what I'm saying? And they definitely got him all set up and 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 ready to do whatever. Look at Sony. Sony did not play around with Michael. Got him out. Another person, Prince. The minute he won his case with the royalties and his and um his music, right? What happened? The minute he won, he never had a chance to see how much money he got off his. His masters are, are royalties. You know why? Because they got rid of him. Evil does exist. Stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? You got um, certain actors that people probably didn't even know was allegedly um, getting claims like this of trafficking. The whole um, Epstein list. I got the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Bill Clinton. Um, I forgot the names. I'll just I'll show you it right here. You have Madonna, you have uh, Robert, no, not Robert, it was, uh, yeah, Robert De Niro, uh, I believe Denzel, and certain people that had claims on them, did they debunk them? Yeah, but still, it's still a bad look. It's still a bad look that to have anything like that under your name or near your name. You get what I'm saying? And you're a celebrity. You guys are all ado adopting all these children. Why not have your own children? You know what I'm saying? Are you scared to lose your frame, your figure? I don't want to hear it. It's nothing like having your own children. It's nothing like it. So, I don't know, man. It's a lot of weird stuff in Hollywood. There's nothing new. And it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. The problem with us is we don't want to believe it because we either like the person's music. Look at R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? This music right now is still getting banged. It's probably not getting, you know, played as long or as much as it used to. But go to an old school's house that's playing spades or something. You might see a couple of jams from R. Kelly getting played. It is what it is. Like his music is still in old movies that we wa you know, watched and grew up to. Menace to Society. Um, um, what else? I just oh, Space Jam. It's a lot of it's a lot of movies we watched with R. Kelly's music in there. And like I said, man, nobody expected that. But evil is around and Hollywood when people are talking about their certain doors and crossroads and all that, believe it believe it it's been going since the 60s 50s when you see certain logos signs um statues and and, and certain um colors and the white and black box checkers and all that is Masonic and evil down to where MTV stands for Masonic TV you know what I'm saying and where they build the MTV headquarters is the Masonic Lodge so it doesn't stop even with y'all knowing that y'all still going to support it even though um, P. Diddy is getting attacked they're gonna find somebody else to do his job they're gonna do it a certain way Sneak the person in there, show that he's cool, calm, and collective. Oh, we need to subscribe to him. I'm not saying, um, Shay Shay, or whatever, is super evil, but it could be as simple as, oh, he did the Cat Williams. He's got three million subscribers. Let's let's have him um, send our message out there now. And you're going to start seeing slowly certain things that you never seen that that was done in his show start popping up out of nowhere. Then you'll know, OK, he's 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 a, a an image or a, a public figure that we can use now to to <laughs> do our work. It's crazy like that, man. It is. It's all about programming us 
and, and designing us a certain way to get us the way that they feel they want us. Distracted and everything. People are sitting here doing, worrying about P. Diddy, but let's see what else is going on in the world that's really important. He could probably be setting up for a nuclear bomb right now. And you know what I'm saying? People are just going to be sitting here like, oh, P. Diddy, this. P. You know what, P. Diddy? Do I feel sorry? To a certain degree. P. Diddy ain't do nothing for me except bring certain artists that I love their music. But the artist got jerked. You know what I'm saying? For real. So he did nothing for me. Obviously, they got something on him. Do I feel like a, it's another black person down? Yes, it sucks. But you fell right into the spell, dog. And that's what comes with it. It comes with it. I don't know. I just want to give you my personal opinion. This is Surreal Keeping It Real. I didn't throw nothing on my channel because right now uh, my monetization is out until June. So I can't do nothing. June 11th. Um, but I won't post up nobody else's uh, content no more. I'll just do my own. But yeah, man. Y'all keep your eyes out on all this stuff. Celebrities and all that. You got now um, CBJ. Ready to fight 50? I'm for it. Is it about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you suck a little rod? <laughs> How we go? I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you wanna do, Curtis? Curtis! I, I'll throw money on there. You know what I'm saying? But he mad because now Stevie J has some type of um flick. It's uh, some gay porn with Stevie J in it, allegedly, and that it was found in um, P. Diddy's, um, I don't know, judges, I mean, his lawyer's file. So P. Diddy was using that for his, to seduce probably certain people at his parties or whatever. That's crazy, insane. But 50's trolling him now. And then, of course, 50 found out his baby moms or whatever was allegedly a, a worker for P. Diddy. So now she's claiming that 50 raped, well, grape, raped her, raped her. So I don't know, man. This is getting wild and crazy. Do I feel like 50 did that? No, I thought like she's doing that just, just because uh, he was trolling her. But anything is possible when it comes to Hollywood. For real. Makes me think like he probably was never with her and just was probably just messing with her just for, you know, to get his pleasure. And then they end up having a child out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's probably why he, he's trying to get his child but has like no love for her at all. I don't know. She said this. So do y'all believe her after reading that? I, I, I don't know, man. Nothing shocks me, though. Nothing shocks me. But keep your eyes out. Let's see what else is going to get unfolded in this story, man. Because this story it has been already been told. It's just nobody wanted to give it no light. And that's what happens. Everybody's not crazy. And the sad thing is somebody could be telling y'all the truth and y'all still would, wouldn't believe it and wouldn't know what to do with it. And that's where we at in this world. Hit that like, share, and subscribe, but I'm out, man. Y'all be good. Prayers up and pray for another day, but I'm out. One.